Welcome to Star Citizen. So there's plenty of players who like different ships, but there's one ship that many players love, like and often refer to. Now don't get me wrong, there's plenty of small ships that players fly around with that are popular than this. But if we should take any type of bigger ship than a fighter, or a courier fighter best case, this is one of those that comes up. First of all the downsides. It does not have the most amount of cargo space. It does not have the most amount of firepower. It is not the most useful ship of its bracket, I would say, and its game loop isn't yet introduced. But it does have a couple of very special features, which isn't just having a chessboard on the ship, but also having tunnels beneath it. May they be for repair, smuggling, or even hidden compartment in the back, which can be used for storing boxes or other small things. It can fit smaller or medium sized vehicles, but not the big ones. But why is it rather popular among many of Star Citizen's players? Well, we can take a look at it and it has this nice little sleek look and looks like it's meant for adventuring. A smooth, nice looking visual of course helps quite a bit. And having these gun turrets for this little beefy boy actually makes it an ideal for having the crew. But what may pull a lot of players towards this ship is the Star Wars having kind of a smuggler vibe with it, like Millennium Falcon. It's not the best trader, it's not the best, uh, well, courier. It's not really meant for combat as pilot needs to maneuver and has rather weak weapons. But it can be good if you want a home away from home, and it can also be good if you want to move around certain items from one port to another. Let's say you have a lot of armors, weapons, gadgets, medical tools, or even ship components as this is quite a big ship and it can hold some of those big weapons which the smaller ones can't. Of course among the veterans this ship is overhyped. But for the new players or not as committed players, this is a nice looking ship which gives away the smuggler vibe, which gives away the lone adventurer vibe, which often is what pulls in players. It does help that it's got the little under skeleton where you can roam around, although it isn't really useful for the most part. And sadly, yes, it is the hype that pulls in most players towards this ship. I'm not saying it's a bad ship, but there are others in the same bracket which fill its roles and its different aspects, at least for now. Perhaps one day when we get data running, this ship will truly fall in place. But for now, it's just a fancy piece of equipment, which to an extent you can enjoy, and I highly suggest you do it with friends. Anyway, thanks for watching.